welcome back to our channel go dynamic it as you know the server 2025 preview has been released and it's in high demand especially after server 2022 which was launched back in 2021 server 2025 introduced the several existing new features including enhanced security with advanced threat protection and improvement encryption server 2025 set a new standard for data security as you know that the cyber crimes are on the top so this advanced security is required on the servers and the second one is improved performance so this optimized for the both hardware and software ensure the faster processing and better efficiency the third one is seamless cloud integration easier and most robust integration with the cloud services to streamline hybrid infrastructure setup as you know that microsoft servers are very tightly integrated with the microsoft azure so there are lots of component which you can uh, manage and pass through this uh, azure cloud infrastructure ai and machine learning capabilities built in tools to support ai and machine learning application directly on your servers yes so nowadays everyone is looking for ai so this server is inbuilt with the ai capabilities so you can leverage those services on this one the fifth one is user friendly interface it's a more intuitive and responsive user interface for easier management and configuration that we will see during the installation and this support the modern applications yes it's a better performance for the containers applications and microservices as you know that everyone is moving from rather than moving from the virtual machine people are moving to the containers so this support the containers and the microservices as well so if you want to know more about this uh, windows server 2025 features i'll share the official link description for you to check out now let's talk about the hardware requirements for the server 2025 so i'm talking about the minimum hardware requirement of the server so processor required minimum 1.4 gigahertz and that should be supporting the 64 bit the ram is minimum is 512 mb for the server core and if you are going with the desktop experience desktop experience means the gui version then you need a minimum 2 gb of the ram so server required 32 gb of space that's the minimum install space you require 32 gb and for network you need at least 1 gigabit in network connection so we don't have a physical server to install windows server 2025 therefore we will install it on the vmware workstation 17 instead so let's dive into the video and download the server 2025 and then we will go with the installation so okay so i am on my system now so let me bring my browser here okay this is my browser and let's go to microsoft official website so just type in the google server 2025 just type server 2025 download and uh, you will see this first link evaluation microsoft windows server 2025 evaluation center so let's go there and he says that you can see the windows server 2025 preview this is a preview version so let's go here on this uh, iso download this iso click on the iso and then you have to fill the basic detail here so let's fill the basic detail quickly okay so i have filled up all the detail basic detail here and now we have to click on the download so this should be the quick one this is not going to take time so basic details are always important for here so you can just go ahead and fill this information so now we can see this is that uh, it says that you want to download english version or there are many other versions also that's included the chinese french german italian japanese russian and spanish so let's go ahead and download this english version iso and uh, you can see this has been downloading now and you can see this is the vhd version also this is the virtual hard drive okay so you can see here uh, this file has been downloaded okay so now let's go back and install this server on the vmware workstation 17 so let me launch my vmware workstation and this is a by the way this is vmware workstation 17 so let's click on the file and click on new virtual machine and we have to go with the typical installation so in the typical st installation you have a three option installer disk installer disk image iso and i will install the operating system later so you have to go with the third one click on the next and here you have to select the operating system so i would select this microsoft since it is a microsoft so i will select microsoft windows and here in the list you can see here in the server we have up to 2022 so we do not have a 2025 mc though it's uh, this vmware workstation is the latest one i can tell you this uh, version of this vmware i think uh, it's a 17.5.2 it is the latest one but it still does not have the information about the server 2025 but that's okay but we can go with the server 2022 because this is the this is the supported one so it will support this 2025 as well this uh, vmx file okay so click on the next and then it says that what name you want to give so you can give server 2025 and it say do you want to location where would be the location so if you want you can change the location or you can keep it in the default one so how do you change it so we have to go to the browse 
let's say put it in the d drive vm temp and you can create a like server 2025 20, and okay so now you can see this is a change to the d drive so click on the next and it says that do you want to uh, how much space you want to assign so let's keep it at the default as i said that for installation it required 30 to 35 gb but here in the windows it's recommending the 60 so i'll go with 60 and i would like to go with the single file click on the next and here it says that 2 gb ram 60 gb uh, let's customize this hardware and put the minimum ram 4 gb and then processor 2 gb it's an enough and i would select this virtualization engine so that the performance be improved nated everything is fine now click on the ok and click on the finish so now you can see here now what we have to do is once the virtual machine is created we have to edit the machine and you have to go to the cd dvd sata and go to the use iso image click on the browse go to the download folder and point this to this iso so this is the iso which we have downloaded and click on the ok and now it's time to power it on so click power on this virtual machine and that's it now put it the full screen okay press any key okay i pressed any key now this installation is going on so the installation look like very similar to the windows 11 and it says that now do you want to select the language and country you want to install so a language i would go over the english united state and time and currency i'll select the english india let me select the india english india click on the next and he said the keyboard settings so for keyboard we use us click the us click on the next and he said do you want to install the server or you want to repair the PC so I would like to go with install Windows Server and you have to agree with the license agreement on the next okay so here we have it four options. so you say that Windows Server 2025 is standard evaluation and it says that standard evalu evaluation uh, desktop experience then data center evaluation and it says that data center desktop experience so wherever you see the desktop experience means you get the desktop otherwise these two options this evaluation data center and standard evaluation you get only this CLI mode so let's go with the standard one because we are just testing this installation okay so it's asking about the accept agreement okay fine i would accept your agreement and now it's asking about that how do you want to install where do you want to install it so i would like to install on my hard drive which we have allocated so just click the next here and you can say this window is ready to install and now click on install and it's going to install it so you can see here um, this is uh, the installation is going on is a five percent okay so after the system got rebooted after copying the file and now it's coming up so this is what the first reboot so let's count how, how many times it's going to reboot okay so now i say that installing some update and it says that don't turn it don't turn off and say that your computer may restart few times that's fine i'm okay with that so first time it's rebooted and i'll see how how many times it's going okay so this is second time windows got rebooted and now it's coming up so okay so you say that it will reboot couple of times i'm okay with that but i'm just counting on you microsoft server 2025 okay so finally after two reboots it's asking about the password so let's key in the power password here okay it says finalizing your setting all right this graphics look very interesting send the control alt control delete and then password to it okay so finally we have a screen here now it says that uh, you have to send the diagnostic data to microsoft that's fine because the version they need that and they say that they want to try this admin center and azure arc today um i'll do it later so just close it and close this server manager so you can see this beautiful windows you know um, this look like uh, windows 11 if you compare with this desktop with windows 11 and 2025 it look very uh, similar to me so let's let's install the vmware tool so this you can see this screen is very small so vmware tool is missing on this so let's go and install the go ahead and install the vmware tool on it so you have to right click on it windows server and install vmware tool once you click on that you have you have to go to this pc and then you have to install the okay so here we have click on the setup 64 and it's going to install click on the next next and stop this is a very small and tiny tool which i would recommend right after any of the windows installation or the linux installation you must you must install this vmware and you can see you can just feel, see the difference they see the screen size and uh, it's automatically resized is to the normal size now you can see the full screen <laughs> that's that's why this vmware tool is important and i always recommend to go with so they say that you want to restart it no i would restart it so i love this uh, desktop uh, theme here uh, this is the background here this is look very similar to me like if you compare with the windows 11 okay so you can see this is the uh, azure as i said that this is the very tightly integration with the azure so you can uh, 
test the, all the features on that let's open the server manager okay so this is similar like uh, we have in the other windows obviously this is the sir, successor of the all this uh, previous version now let's go and go to the properties and okay so this is 2025 standard evaluation this version is 4h2 okay this version is so that's it for this video guys if you like my video please subscribe and if you have any questions or concern please do let me know in the comment box thank you very much for watching my video see you in the next one